who is now joining us at the table is Ozo Uche, who directed Onje Ale. Did I get it? Onje Ale, yeah. yes. Thank you got it. <laughs> Thank you, because, you know, lots of people have so much to say about how I pronounce my own name. <laughs> and they forget that it's my own language. But you will disappoint them today, right? Did I not already? You will disappoint them. I'm very, them. Much, very happy with that. Well, first and foremost, a big congratulations to you. Thank you. Congrats. When we talk about your film, please do give us a little synopsis about it. But then also, I wonder if we can go into the practicalities of actually creating a short film. Mm. I ask because I'm a reporter. And I know that when I have stories, sometimes the, a story could warrant a lengthier mm -hmm. time. But I do try and keep my reports as succinct as possible because of attention span. But also, I think it takes a bit more of... Um, it takes a bit more discipline mm -hmm. to really get the crux of a story out in as little time as possible. So when you are creating shorts, I'd imagine that you, you might start with a whole lot of material <laughs> on your, on your um, editing software, on your timeline, and then for you to get to your final cut of around, was this 10 minutes as well? 11. 11 minutes. How, what is that process like? Um, the process is that... At the tail end, being it, you shoot an entire movie and then you start cutting down. Um, shots started as exper experimental movies. Being it, oh, let's try a, an act, because movies are bro broken down into like three acts, act one, two, or three. So let's try an act and see how it goes, if it will work. So shots start from the writing. So when you are writing the scripts, you already know, okay, um, what format am I going to put it in? Is it going to be a short film or is it going to be a long film, um, the feature length? So if it's going to be a short film, with that, you have to reduce the number of um, scenes you would have in it. Mm. And the story, you would pick a part of the story to tell. You can't tell the entire story. So short movies leave people wanting more. They know, okay, um, you, picked this, you picked a part of the entire movie to show your audience. So it starts with the writing, so it's not a um, two hours movie and then you start cutting it down to 10 minutes. Or yeah. You lose a lot if yeah. you do right. it that way. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then please do tell us about yeah. the film itself. Oh yes, the backstory. So um, growing up, we used to have a lot of stories from boarding house. So you're back from school. And I think I never went to a boarding house. Well, I had friends that went to boarding house. They come back from, from schools and there are a lot of creepy stories. Oh, we had Bush Baby. We had Madame Koi Koi, <laughs> a ghost that appeared in the room and all of that. And I realized that it doesn't happen again. So it was a face. And then one thing that is part of us Nigerians is we don't document as much. Mm. So the history gets lost as we go on. There are a lot of information that goes out. So I took it upon myself and my office, yeah, uh, where I work, we have a school of media. So we all agreed that we are going to, Auto Academy, we all agreed that we are going to document and then keep this face. Yeah. So Onjale is the first of many. Okay. Um, with the Onjale story is about the Ketra that was um, leached. So a child died out of food poisoning and then she was leached mm. and it felt she killed the child. So the parents of the um, child came to school. The school villagers came together and killed her. Mm. She died. Her spirit was roaming the same school, and she continued serving food even after her death. That's why it's night food. Mm. So it's a story. It shows a girl that got curious after the the what she uses is that she leaves trails of rice. So you see it and you get curious to find out who is this. Maybe you see her. Mm. It takes you, oh, wow. and then you become one of our armies. Is, is it in Yoruba or no? It's in English. It's in English. Yes. Would you describe its genre as a horror because of yes, the, the premise? Absolutely. So then again, talking about the duration of a short film, and then actually serving the purpose of a horror film. I mean, with any of these films, the purpose is ultimately to entertain. Yes. But I imagine. I think this is the first I'm hearing of a, a short horror. I mean, personally, <laughs> I, 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 that speaks to my lack of knowledge when it comes to films. But what was, what, you know, when you talk about the idea and being intentional with your shorts, I, I, you said that from the, you know, from inception, you know that you're writing a short film. But I, I, again, I'm just thinking about like, you know, you know, suspense and building all of these things yeah. within 11 minutes. It yeah. must be quite difficult. Well, I won't say that mm. because um, they're actually five seconds movies. 
Oh. Yeah, okay, you can tell right. stories in five seconds. Me that will blink yeah. for five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't say it's extremely difficult. It's mm. just um, like the backstory with Unjale, you won't, this, the backstory of when she was leashed is not there. Mm. We just went straight to show when she started. Oh, so see. the story started from the girl, which is the lead character, Joy. We started seeing trail of rice in the hostel, and she got tired of cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. Mm. The matron was going to beat her mm. because the, the hostel was not clean. When it was, you know, the whole routine cleaning mm -hmm. of there's a timetable you have to clean. So whenever it's her turn, she realized that someone is littering the hostel with rice. And curiosity drove her to go and find out, oh, who is this person doing this? Mm -hmm. And then at night, when others were sleeping, she stood out and started following the rice through to discover that it's actually a spirit. And it was too late for her to... And then with um, horror, I believe horror is um, much of suspense. And um, I, why I like it is I, I don't enjoy watching horror movies as much as making them. Uh, but I believe it's once you, you know how to shift ex expectations and then you know how to prank people, you're already a horror storyteller <laughs> because you are you are giving them chills when they're not supposed to have mm. and then you're changing their expectations they are thinking this will happen and then that happens there's a lot of shock yeah. suspense and all of that and then okay which i mean we've got just a couple of minutes to go but let me uh you know run two uh questions into one here one is that i like you know i, I like the way that you three guys all you winners appear I mean, you see art, you see <laughs> <laughs> unconventional. You look, you look, you look yeah, exactly. You look the part. Um, what is it like um, in Nigeria today? The short film uh, filmmakers club. Is it a growing thing? Is it is it buoyant? Is it you know how lively is it? I mean, can we point at people and say, oh, these are Nigerian you know filmmakers who specialize in short films? And then secondly, at what point? Again, coming back to how you guys look, and I like, mm -hmm. I like the vibe. At what point do you think that we will have for Nigerian films? You know, uh, I think Adeshola mentioned Nollywood. He, he used that expression the other time. At what time are we going to have Nollywood's answer to Bonner Boy, to Whiskey, <laughs> to Davido? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean they, look at Bonner Boy at Madison Square Garden. Look yeah. at, you know, I mean, one million dollars for Wheezy now just mm -hmm. to feature. At what Absolutely. point would that come, that sort of global acceptance come to Nollywood? All right. So for the first question, I believe um, short films, the um, crop of filmmakers we have now uh, making short films yeah. um, is rising and it's fast becoming a force. Mm. So we have um, a lot of festivals that we um, um, celebrate short films. Okay. Um, it's not yet the in it's not yet taking over feature length or oh, it's not yet um monet, you can't monetize it traditionally currently mm, yeah but i know it's it's on the way i was we were discussing before we came in here as it will happen when you have three filmmakers <laughs> in the room and i was telling myself that um very soon would have cinemas showing short films as against feature length yeah because you, you attention spans of people are reducing yeah. and then you have a lot of short form content being yeah. consumed regularly. That's so people right. get used to um, wanting short form content. They would get tired of going to the cinema to see two, two hours late movies of just one movie. Rather they want something they can have control over, um, a, a category of movies they would like to see. So I believe very soon, um, you can mark my words. I can say that. Say next two years, yeah. I think short film would begin to penetrate and then have a force there. Okay. Um, the second question, please remind me. Um, Bona. Wizzy. Yeah, Bona. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I got excited when you asked that, <laughs> and I forgot. <laughs> so I think I think it's it's it will happen. Mm. Um, if you look at if because if you want to check and see um, trends, you need to check history and then see where we are now. So if you go back to his history in the 90s, early 80s, in fact, the, uh, one of the first um, movies made in Nigeria, the first one was horror, was um, Witch Doctor of the Living Dead. It was made in 85. Mm. Yeah, it was hilariously 
horror. So you see a lot of things <laughs> that are out of it. So, but it, 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 back then, we had a lot of brave directors that told stories but yeah. didn't have the technical ability. That's mm. right. So they told stories in the way they could. Yeah. And then we didn't have YouTube to train them on the technical aspect. If you want to learn, you have to travel. And not all of them had the funds or the necessary um, resources to travel. So they told a lot of stories that, and then you see stories of what is happening and all that. Right now we have technical directors that understand the technical part, yeah. but I believe or I feel they are going to commercial and they are losing out on mm. um, telling our own story, real stories. Yeah. Um, so that, that's what I think will happen. When these two comes together, we we'll begin to create um, content that would make people around the world stand yeah. at attention to Nigerian yeah. filmmakers. Just like when Wakanda <laughs> came out. They had a lot of people going back to their rappers. Absolutely. That's, all right. So I think all right. next. Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Jay. Thank you. Jay. Thank you so much. For having me. <laughs> Wonderful. And big congratulations to all three of you. Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much.